Hi folks, welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are well. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the platform TradingView. I just happen to use this platform on a daily basis for charting and analysis, basically. And I would like to tell you that they are doing a Black Friday sale this week on all of their paid subscriptions, basically. Now, I will tell you that this is not a paid promotion. I'm not being paid to make this video right now. I just thought it would be a decent idea to make it as I do have an affiliate link that if you click on in the description below and then end up signing up, I will be compensated. The point of this video is simply to just inform you about the details regarding the different options you have if you were looking at TradingView to begin with. All right, so I'll start off by talking a little bit about the platform and then we can get on to the subscriptions and how they differ. So they differ in price and they differ on the features that you get. Fundamentally, first and foremost, TradingView is a charting platform. It does have other little bells and whistles, like it has like a community function and it has like a news feed. And it also, you can also trade off of this platform depending on some brokers. But first and foremost, it is a charting platform. And that is what the majority of people use it for because it is in fact a great charting platform platform. And if I were to have to say what is one of TradingView's biggest competitors, I would say they are competing directly with Sierra Chart. Sierra Chart is another great charting platform. TradingView happens to be slightly more user friendly. It is operating on HTML. So basically it's a web browser, web based platform. All right. I've used this platform for about two years at this point, And I will tell you that it works great. One of the reasons I like TradingView, there are a lot of ways to customize the platform and sort of make it fit your vibe, I guess. That's how I can say it. For professionals, trading is a business. Therefore, you're not looking for your charting platform to be, you know, like colorful like a rainbow, but this one can be colorful like a rainbow if you want it to. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritties as to why would you want a paid subscription to begin with? So if you don't have a paid subscription, basically you're gonna get ads showing up on the side of your chart, which is kind of annoying. You're limited to a few things like indicators and you can't use volume profiles on the free version of Trading View. All right, guys, so let's get to it right now. So there's saying Black Friday sale 60% off. All right, so one other great thing, if you do use a broker that routes through CQG or uses CQG data, then you don't have to pay for futures data on TradingView. You'll get it for free as long as you have it on your CQG account. Um, so that's pretty beneficial. I mean, at the end of the day, it makes sense because they won't make you pay for the data twice. So basically, you just put in your login details and you get your futures data for free. Basically, it links up to the exact same data you've got in your CQG. So if you've only got Globex in your CQG account, then you'll get the Globex on TradingView for free. That's just a plus. All right, guys, so let's get into the subscriptions here and we'll look at what they offer, basically. These are not the Black Friday prices. The Black Friday prices are on the Black Friday sale page. Comparing the plans. All right, so when it comes to ads, as soon as you pay for it, the ads go away, logically, right? Now, in terms of the charts, this is how they differ. We'll be comparing Pro to Pro Plus to Premium. So with a pro, you can have up to two charts per tab, meaning that on one chart, you can have two charts like this, right? So you can see here there's two charts and you can either single one out and switch between them or use two simultaneously. And these charts can be two completely different charts with two completely different instruments. You can set that up yourself. Now, if you add Pro Plus, you can have up to four charts on the same tab. With Premium, you can have up to eight charts on the same tab. Now, so I'm gonna give you my opinion on all of these features and if they're actually beneficial or not. So I use this platform every day. The way I use it currently, I don't use more than two charts on the same tab. One chart represents my shorter time frames, and the other chart represents my larger time frames. When it comes to switching instruments, I just switch instruments with the up and down arrow keys, and it switches to the next symbol in the watch list. There might be some scenarios that you need four charts in one layout, but I don't use it. Fine. A device is at the same time. If you have a Pro Plus, you can use two devices at the same time. With Premium, you can use five devices at the same time. Unless you're a group, then I don't really see the benefit in this. All right, so the Pro and the Pro Plus, basically the amount of devices, this is what happens. So if you log in on another device and you're only allowed one device, then it's gonna log out your other session and log you in on the new device. Whereas if you have Pro Plus or higher, then you're allowed to be logged in on two separate devices, I guess. Next thing, save chart layouts. You can save up to five layouts here. You can save up to 10 layouts with Pro Plus and infinity layouts with premium. This is not so important because all you really need is maybe one or two or three chart layouts. I can't really think of any cases where you would need more than that. So in this case, this is not where the Pro Plus shines. 
Custom time intervals, this is a known thing for TradingView. You can switch to any time interval, um, any amount of minutes and any amount of hours and any amount of days. That's one of the good things about TradingView is the custom time intervals. You can see that that's available on all plans. Second based intervals like 15 second, 30 second, etc., are only available with premium. In my opinion, not very useful. I use TradingView as a charting platform only and I have executions from another platform and that's where I view my shorter time frame chart. Um, there are some other types of charts here that are only available on Pro Plus. If you use these types of charts, then you would probably look at pro plus let's skip a few of these here because they're less important export chart data that's something interesting you can actually save a chart data into a csv file and you can import it into excel so that's actually a cool feature it only allows you to do that if you got pro plus so that's good to know um, bar replay is a very cool feature in trading view and you can see that it is available on all time frames as soon as you have a pro subscription um, let's keep going here dividend adjusted charts all right so historical financial data on charts this is quite important guys so you can see that with the basic you can only see five years data when you have a pro subscription you can see 15 years of data i would think that that's more than enough data to look at the markets a lot of people are going to look at this indicators per chart. So with Pro Plus, you've got up to 10 indicators per chart. And from my experience of using the platform, I've never needed to use more than 10 indicators per chart. As you can see right now on this chart, there are nine indicators, but four of which I'm not even using. Really, there's only four indicators currently turned on on this chart. It depends on your charting style and everything, but for my style personally, I will never find more than 10 indicators on a chart. So for me, Pro Plus would be the maximum I would need. I'd say five is a little low and 10 seems all right. 25 is just overkill, of course. Let's keep going. Uh, volume profile indicators. Of course, if you guys watch other videos on my channel, you know I'm big on this. So, you know, as soon as you have a pro subscription, you can look at volume profiles, very important. Uh, Backtesting, candlestick pattern recognition, all of this stuff is sort of extra gimmicks. Um, alerts, you can see that you can have up to 10 alerts with a pro and up to 30 alerts with a pro plus. And that means you can have 30 alerts prompted at the same time that are ready to trigger. So you can have up to 30 alerts. And in my opinion, that's a lot of alerts. Um, I don't use alerts personally, but for a person who trades a multitude of instruments where they set alerts, that might be useful. So yeah. All right, this is cool, the screener. So TradingView actually has a good scanner, I'll be honest with you. So all time frames, you can export data. You can auto refresh. It covers most of the world, basically all of the instruments available on TradingView and all markets available on TradingView. You can also screen for crypto markets. Let's keep going. All right, let's look at data flow here. Fastest data flow. You can see that the data is the same on all three. Ability to buy extra real time data. So basically when it comes to market data, you do have to purchase extra market data with TradingView. Like I said, if you have a CQG broker, you don't have to pay for CME but the stock data is generally cheap. Like I've got stock data on my TradingView account. It's $2 a month per exchange. So if you only look at NASDAQ stocks and NYSE stocks, you're gonna be paying $4 a month for those two combined. In my opinion, pretty cheap. It's not like interactive brokers, which requires you to keep $2,000 in the account to pay five dollars a month for data all right so historical bars available okay so so this is different than the historical financial data on the charts this is bar data so it's actually how many bars can they display for you so in the case of pro and pro plus you can display ten thousand bars on whichever time frame you're looking at so if you're looking at a one minute chart you can display ten thousand minutes in that case if you're looking at a five minute chart you would display ten thousand bars of five minute bars with a premium, they allow you 20,000 bars. I mean, unless you really need to go back and look at a short-term time frame at a completely different date, and you wanna go as far back as possible on a certain time frame, then a premium will allow you to go much further back in that case, double the amount. In regards to everything else here, pretty much the same. The social aspect, trading and watch lists, they're pretty much all the same here. You can see that they also give you priority and customer service if you have Pro Plus or higher. All right, guys, so let's get to the conclusion of this video. Now, which one would I actually recommend to you? The one I would say is the best bang for your buck and you're not really getting overkill. I honestly think Pro Plus is all you need because I don't really see a scenario where you would need more than 10 indicators on a chart. So if you are a TradingView user and you were unsure about which subscription works for you, I will tell you that from my experience, Pro Plus is just about enough. You could probably get away with Pro, but I would say Pro Plus just to give you that extra breathing room for the indicators. Again, 10 indicators is more than enough. 
And in terms of historical data, they're just about the same. The scanners are really good on TradingView if you've tried them. And I will say that the volume profiles are excellent on TradingView. I use them personally. I use TradingView every single day as a charting and analysis platform. And I would highly recommend it to you guys, not just because I'm compensated if you click on the link in the description, because in a way it is a business opportunity. But at the same time, I'm also trying to provide you guys with some information that you might not have had if you didn't see this video. All right, guys. So I hope that cleared it up for you. Catch you guys in the next video. All the best. Take care.